guys, I'm the disc golf teacher Kyle Martin, and we're here at Seymour Smith Park in Omaha, Nebraska. By far the busiest disc golf park here in Omaha. And we're gonna get around on this just freezing 45 degree day. Um, sounds like everything's in shorts, so hopefully there's a chance for a lot of birdies. But since it's so cold, I better get warmed up first. All right guys, we're starting here on hole one. Um, as you can see, we're playing to all the shorts, and so this is gonna be from the A-pad to the A-pin, which is 237 feet. Probably gonna throw a forehand out around that tree. Let's try it. All right guys, hole two is 215 feet. Uh, so if you go straight down the fairway here, it's just to the left around that tree. All right, the first two holes did not go well at all, but here we have hole three. This is going from the A pad to the A pin, 170 feet. So if you look at the T here, you kind of got to go around this group of trees, over this ditch, and then a little forehand, probably I'll throw a gator three. Real simple, hopefully easy birdie. Alright guys, hole 4 is 286 feet, so from this incredibly muddy tee pad here, you have to throw it through this gap. Personally, I like the, the forehand roller play and try to get it up uh, through those trees, but kind of a throw and hope. Alright, hole five is actually in the B pin, 275 feet. And so from here, gotta go down and then kind of between those two trees down there. Alright guys, I'm gonna throw my Paige Pierce buzz on this hole. Um, but obviously I'm not up to the start that I want. I'm only one down through four on a super easy course. Um, so it's it's amazing what a camera will do to your confidence. It really <laughs> takes it down a notch. But do this for me. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and if if this somehow gets more than 50 views, maybe comment down below which view number you were. If you're before the 50, maybe uh, just give us a thumbs up for me. All right, here we go, Paige Pierce Buzz. Alright guys, hole 6 is only 206 feet. Uh, pretty simple forehand is what I'm going to throw around, just kind of right above that dead stump and hopefully have a crash a little bit to uh, the right. You can see right there at the basket. Alright, I'm going to throw my sign, sex, and firebird. That's got to be good luck, right? Look, knock this in. 
All right, guys, walking here to hole seven. That was ridiculous. It landed on top. Okay, I've never really done that before, but I got it on camera. That deserves your thumbs up down below, doesn't it? All right, guys, hole seven. This one's actually not on uh, the sign. It's going to be about right here. So uh, if this one is 308, then uh, I'd say we're throwing probably about 270. All right, so from the tee pad here, it looks like we have to go kind of in this group of trees. So I'm probably gonna throw a forehand, a little flex, maybe straight, try to get it to work back to the right. All right guys, that was real nice. Left with about 15 feet. All right guys, hole number eight is 239 feet from A-pad to A-pin. So from here, I'm gonna throw just a little forehand right in there. You can see the basket there focuses. Sex and Firebird. All right, hole nine, halfway done. This is 252 feet. Got to go to the left here. So from the tee pad, we kind of have to go through this gap. Oh, there's a basket. Through the through this gap, and you can see, uh, got to throw something kind of straight that maybe finishes a little bit to the right. Probably throw a buzz or a rock. I got to go through my rock straight. All right, the pad should flip it a little bit right at the basket. All right guys, hole 10 sits on top of a hill, and it looks like on here that is 245 feet, but it plays a lot uh, longer than that, I feel like. You gotta go up this hill, and there it sits right on top. I'm gonna throw a wraith. All right, I'm past the hill. During run though, with the hill dropping on the other side, we're gonna try to give it a run. Oh. All right guys, this next shot's gonna be blind from the tee, so I'll show you the baskets there. Our tee is over here, kind of on the other side of this hump. All right, so it looks like hole 11 is 355 feet. This is by far the longest shot today. Um, so I'll probably throw a destroyer. Got a headwind, so maybe a, an overstable one. All right, guys, got this cool Ricky uh, Waisaki destroyer. Um, got a pretty stiff headwind, so I'm gonna throw it out on maybe a touch of hyzer. Let it flip up and hopefully go straight to the basket. So low. <laughs> I don't know how it did that. It barely skimmed over that whole hill up there and got to me within about 25 feet. Let's see if I can take advantage. Yeah. 
Alright guys, hole 12 here at Seymour Smith is 317 feet, uh, but it's all uphill. This is, I think, probably one of the tougher ones on the course. So from the tee pad here, you have to go up this hill. And you can kind of see the basket right in there. So you gotta go around those big trees. We'll give it a whirl. Alright guys, we're gonna go that same disc on a little bit of hyzer. Um, the headwind is kind of a crosswind now, so it might lift it a little bit and get going to the left. This is a tough hole though. Okay, right, definitely happy with this. Uh, really tough tee shot, so this is about 30, maybe 25 feet. See if I can get a two. All right, hole 13 is only two pin positions. This is 221 feet uh, straight down the pipe here. So if you go from the tee pad, you can see it's just right there. A little bit of a tight gap though. So uh, I want to throw something fairly straight. Let's throw my page Pierce Fierce. All right guys, hole 14 is 217 feet. Again, another uphill shot. Pretty drastically uphill this time. Kinda go, gotta go around this, these trees. Here's the normal fairway, and then this is a little bit to the left. Throw a, probably a fairway driver. All right guys, gonna throw a PD, an S-line PD on Heiser. Hopefully it's gonna the best. All right, hole 15 is 240 feet, and from the tee pad, it's uh, a slightly blind shot. I don't know if you can see it over the crest of the hill here or not. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so pretty straight, and then just a little finish to the left. outside the circle. I'm going to try a jump putt. Have you watched my jump putt video yet? Alright guys, hole 16 is 199 feet. Alright, it's just right there in front of the tree. Um, my first disc is going to count. It's going to be this uh, Rock X3. But then I'm going to try to throw a couple others, see if we can get ace. Alright. Most of those went all the way past, but the Fate Pierce uh, buzz pinned it. But this is my original, so I'm going to shoot here. Parody. All right, guys, hole 17 is 228 feet. Pretty low ceiling. So I'm probably going to throw a forehand here. Hopefully let it skip right up to the basket. For the big jump Thunderbird.
All right, guys, last hole, hole 18, is another forehand for me. This is 236 feet. Again, another kind of not too tight of a fairway, uh, but right where it starts to open up, the basket's there on the right. Um, definitely not my best with how short these pins were, but again, uh, a little bit cold to start with. It did warm up quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, this is Seymour Smith Park here in Omaha, Nebraska. Please give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.